All right, let's go. Welcome, everyone. This is our first thematic mixtape, not a regular podcast episode, just 30 minutes of music for your commute, your jog, or for those moments where you just want to escape and get inspired at the same time. We mix DJ sets with the best quotes from the Green Exchange interviews. It's never been done before and still very much of an experiment for us. Let us know what you think. Today we publish a mix created by the genius Giles Pertusson. The music mix is by a very talented man called Bullion. Uh, we put the link on the episode page. We hope you like it. Over that mix you'll hear voices. Those voices tell the story of why and how the financial sector needs to start carbon footprinting at scale. But hey, it's mostly music, okay? Those interviews are from the first episodes of our climate finance series. We first hear Julian Poulter from the Asset Owners Disclosure Project, and then Eric Usher from UNEPFI, and Robert Rubenstein from TBLI. All info is in the notes. We thought this mixtape will put you back in the groove as we're about to release two new episodes in the Climate Finance series. But for those, you'll need your brain at full speed, I'm afraid. So time to lace up your running shoes or if you're cooking, sharpen your knife and get the kids out of the way. We're starting now. The fact of the matter is, is that the investment chain is quite complex. Each day was another round. For the cosmic boxer Boxing his own shadow The whole day through In a ring set out in the sun That seemed like a cocoon So many times was it wound round With hangman's rope He would find a way through But song He would find a way through But song um, But essentially there are three levels Asset owners at the very top They tend to outsource their investments to asset managers And asset managers invest in companies
Where's the money? But how much transparency do we actually need? How does it work? There's an increasingly good level of data at the, comp at the company level. In fact, some of the big oil and gas companies are, and mining companies are some of the best disclosers in the world. But there is a, a, a dearth of information at the fund manager and indeed at the asset owner level. We took the strategic view back in 2008 that whilst the funds management community was very important, that they were more interested in shorter term returns and perhaps trading more than they were long term investing. And that the asset owners around the world, that is the pension funds, insurance companies, sovereign wealth funds, foundations and endowments were the real long-term investors. And so it's those institutions which we wanted to capture data about and hold to account. I'm Eric Usher. I'm uh, the head of the Unit Finance Initiative, which is a long-standing organization that's a partnership between United Nations and a group of about uh, 250 of the larger banks, insurers, and asset managers globally. What can investors do? Well, the, obviously the first step comes towards disclosure and assessment, figuring out what um, the, the risks and impacts are within their portfolio. So essentially, simplistically put the carbon footprint.
So the first step is to to um, start to footprint your portfolio. Um, and as we know, um, the majority of of uh, or uh, of large cap corporates today do report um, their carbon impacts, but only a very very small number of investors who want that information but actually don't report themselves. And so there's definitely an, uh, an imbalance, and there's a need for investors to also start stepping up um, to to assess their carbon footprints and, and to start also making that publicly available to, to the users of such information. Montreal Pledge, which was launched by the Principles for Responsible Investment a year and a half ago to get um, uh, investors to sign up, to commit to, to measuring their footprint.
Montreal Pledge, it says very clearly, by signing the Montreal Carbon Pledge, investors commit to measure and publicly disclose the carbon footprint of their investment portfolios on an annual basis. That's a lot different. That's not an aspirational statement. That means you're going to, you know, drop your pants, as we say in Brooklyn, or open the kimono and show us what you got. If you, if you take the list of signatories of the PRI, put that next to the list of the signatories of the CDP, put that next to the list of all the, the members of the Global Impact Investing Network, and then on the left column, put in all of the people who signed the Montreal Pledge. It's a very small list. It's maybe 150 people. Uh, there are some very big pension funds. There are some very big insurance companies like Oxa and uh, the APs. But it's sadly how few of the ones that you know going around talking about impact, impact, impact don't even sign this.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Papal Variety Performance. About the big the back. Dead. What? Dead? Dead. What you said is dead. And our first act tonight is a second movie. Are you there, David? I'd like to thank our guest voices for this mixtape and point you to the thousands of tracks and mixtapes produced and mixed by Giles Peterson and his friends. Amazing work they're doing. Today's music mix was by Bullion, links on the episode page. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back soon with more green knowledge, inspiration and entertainment. Keep up the good work in the meantime. Thank you.